Okay, so let's take a look at some pretty cool things that we can do through the behaviors panel. Now, I actually have quite a few videos on the behaviors panel and some of the different things that we can do in Dreamweaver with through this uh, panel. Now, what is this panel? Well, it's in the tag inspector, but if we don't see it, we can come to window and we can find behaviors and we click and there we have it. And what we can see is that we can add quite a bit of interactivity through JavaScript with the behaviors panel. So what we're going to look at today is in this video, I'm just going to take a look at four of the effects. Then I'll do another video for the last three. And then in some other videos, I'll start exploring some of these other behaviors that we can do and really great ways that we can add interactivity to our website to create focus, focus and all that good stuff without having to learn JavaScript fully a little bit. But again, um, well, I think that's all I'll say about that. So let's begin. So we come with this first one and this one, I named this one purple. So I can highlight it. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to just come to effects and I'm going to say appear fade. Now it's saying current selection and I believe that that will get it. But if you want to, you can always come in and find it that way too. And what we're going to say is we're going to say we want it to fade. Let's fade it from 100%. Let's fade it to 10%. Okay. Um, now we'll put the toggle effect on this one. We'll play around with the toggle effect. We'll say okay. Now this one is on click. I actually like on click. Let's save it and let's see what it looks like. Actually, before we, let's just preview it. Now what will happen as you preview it, it will say to you, that you're going to have to save JavaScript files. Now, I did not get that. And the reason why I didn't get that one was because I've already saved the JavaScript that goes along with it. Okay. But when you get that hit yes, and what your site will do, and we can see how this works here, what your site will do, if you look at your files panel, if you were to look at my files panel, I have a file that has quite a bit of JavaScript in it right in here spry assets actually that's where all of it it actually is all in through here okay all right so moving right along we come to the blind let's add another one let's say effect let's go blind now this time let's experiment with just current selection and let's have it blind up have it blind up to 10% Let's not do the toggle effect. Let's hit OK and let's change it. Let's say let's do it on mouse over. So you can see you have a lot of different choices and you can play around and see what they do. Let's preview this one in Firefox. Why not? You know, get not take a look, make sure it's working everywhere. Okay, and here we are. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we can see it. So on mouse over. Voila. Okay. Let's go and let's apply some more. Let's come back to our Dreamweaver page. I have a lot going on there. Let me close that. Let's do this one. And we can see that it works either way. So we come in, we have our grow shrink. We go to here. We're going to grow and shrink. And again, we'll do current selection. Let's change it to grow. We want this one to grow, grow from 100% to 200%. Let's give the toggle effect so we go over it and it works. And let's do that one on click. Let's do the highlight one. Oh, let's preview it. Why not? File, preview in Firefox, save. We can see that this one grows. All right, what happens is the other ones move around it. This one below it does actually. Um, so that's something to consider when we're working. And we could actually play around and get that to not happen if we played around probably with the Z indexes. That would make that not happen. All right, let's try this last one. And we're going to have this one highlights. So we're going to come on in and we're going to come to our effects. We're going to say highlights. And we can stay our start color. We can start our start color here. We'll have the end color be I want to make the end color be the yellow. And then why not? Let's try it. Okay. We're going to say okay. 
Oh, so I need to preview it. File, preview, save. All right, so it highlights when someone clicks on it. Now you could also have that just be on the um, mouse over. I did a lot of these on click. The blind one is on that. So there we go. There are some different funky things that we can do with our sites. Let's take a look at split and we can see what is happening here. Div ID on mouse over, so on and so forth. So this is all of the code that is written for us. And we can see these are spry effects. Okay, as we come on up, so we have um, JavaScript getting written into our site, adding some real cool interactivity. Thanks for listening.